Hello, my name is Corey Toons, and today we're going to do a tutorial for RPG Maker VX Ace on Auto Run Events. Some people don't like Auto Run Events, but Auto Run Events are awesome, and everyone should use them all the time. Never not use Auto Run Events to do scenes. I have a village, I have a house. This is not a tutorial on mapping. I'm going to do some auto run events. And my first, I'm going to just start, put an auto run event at the top. There. And I'm going to have the guy, I think, what's his name, whatever, is going to walk down this path and into the house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He is going to walk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's going to walk nine steps down, and he's going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten steps to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And he is going to walk one up. And I am going to then have a transfer event to transfer him to the inside of this house. And I'm going to transfer him up. And then I'm going to make sure that this controls, that this auto run event is stopped forever. And my baby is talking during this. Uh, I'm going to make this auto run stop one. Always stop your auto runs after you've used them. Just make a habit of doing it and you won't have a problem. So it's a very simple scene. This guy's going to walk down this path and into the house. My baby is. So this is project one. Let's watch if this works. The walk guy walks down the path to the right. Inside the house, transfers, and stops. Because I turned the auto run event off. So now he's inside the house. But I'm not finished because I have more auto run events I want to show you how to do. We're going to have an auto run event in the house. This guy has a friend. This friend is just going to be some random girl. And this girl is going to be a parallel process. And that way I can control her movement and my guy's movement and we are going to make an auto run event here in the corner that's going to control my actor's movements once he's entered this house to go talk to this girl so he's going to one two three four five let's say five he's going to move five one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And move right. One. One, two. Move up two. And this girl is going to realize the guy's in in her house and so I'm going to have a control switch and this I'll just call girl turns around and because this is auto run 
and she is parallel process, nothing is going to stop her from turning around when this control switch turns on. So, the girl's going to turn around after facing her. It's very simple. And then, I want to have some text. Show text. After one, is this girl at the top? Girl, how are you? Show text. Top, after one, top guy. I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thank you, and you. And now, if I don't put a control switch, this will keep on happening. So, let's just, after this happens, uh, put a control switch. We're just going to put a control switch here temporarily okay. called auto run stop to and new event page. And there we go. Let's see how it works now. New game. The guy's gonna walk down the path and into the house. And that should trigger the new auto run event. Oh, he walked a little too far. <laughs> but the auto run event now it stops because I use the control switch. Now, ah. Uh, uh, I made this guy move up one more than I wanted him to. Always play test your stuff. It's good. Play testing is good. Now, after she, this girl, for some reason, you want her to move. 